Hey animators, here's another quick demo. This time I'm going to have a look at how I use a great tool called Bro Dynamics and then animation layering to do a quick pass on overlap. It's really good for things like tails and, and ears and that kind of stuff. So I've got this walk I'm kind of bounce, uh, blocking out. It's kind of a double bounce walk. You know, she's walking along with some bit of attitude. It's, it's kind of work in progress, but it's getting there. And uh, I'd like to block in some ear animation now. And, you know, you can do that by hand, obviously, but it's, it can be quite slow and quite tedious. There's various ways of offsetting the curves and all that kind of thing that people do, or just, you know, looking at the poses in more of a 2D sort of way. But I really like this tool, Bro Dynamics, because it gives you something that's quick, and it's based on physics. I'm actually using um, the simple chain mode and his loop is enabled so that it knows that I'm working with a cycle. It'll, it'll match the first and last poses. And um, so there you go. It's already done a quick pass on that. And it's, you know, it's kind of believable. It's a nice sort of floppy sense to it. I'm going to do the same with the other ear. Make sure I select these in order. One, two, three, four. And again, just run that. I'm just using the default settings for now. I could play around with those and make it more floppy and so on, but I prefer to do that kind of stuff by hand, really, unless it's you know really not giving results I like. But I find most of the time it is. It's, it's, it's a pretty nice tool that way. So there I've got some kind of quick overlap on both of the ears. Now the thing is, I want to push that. First thing, it doesn't actually key the, the first control I selected, so I'm going to key those myself, and then it's going to maybe offset them a little bit just so that we're not getting perfect symmetry like already that looks a little bit more interesting um, but then the other thing i'm going to do i'm going to just actually go into my graph editor grab these two guys and just bake them on uh, ones just for i've got uh, keys i can work with on the base and then i'm going to select these controls i'm going to create an atom layer and now I frame one and frame 25 sorry the end of my loop i'm just going to set keys just to, just to lock in the pose and then here, I'm just gonna just gonna play around, just add a little bit of variety to it. So I've pushed it a little bit, and then maybe here, maybe drag it a little bit. You know, and try to do it in all axes so that it gets a little bit more organic sort of feeling. And then I might grab the last couple and add a couple more keys because they will generally be a bit more floppy than the base. And maybe have that lag a little bit more. And then follow through a little bit more here. And I might decide that what I've done is a little bit too much, so I could always just dial it back a little bit with the weight of the animation layer. What I often like to do actually on that is do the movements or do the change so I can quite easily see it, so it's very visible to me, and then dial it back. You know, it's kind of easier than trying to gradually increase something. It's much easier to push it a bit more than you think and then dial it back. And so, yeah, I'm liking about 0.7 there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I look at it in the side view as well to make sure I'm not only doing it one axis. So maybe try to do a little bit in this axis here as well. Yeah, I'm liking that actually. Or maybe just on this frame, push that a tiny bit more. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's a nice sort of flowy feel to it now. So I'm just going to select, actually I can just do it from layer select objects and just smarter bake. Just bake that back to keys. And then I do the same on the other side. And I do these separately because I want to, I want them to feel organic. I don't want to, you know, have them to look the same on both sides. I think I feel a bit CG. So, but I'm going to do have the same basic workflow. I'm going to just add a top and tail key to be starting the end just to kind of lock it in on the layer. And then maybe block it in here. And maybe this time I might actually look at it more from the sides straight away. So maybe pull it back a little bit in that way. And even already just adding that is a little bit better. And then maybe here, have it come forward a bit. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then again, I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. I'm gonna push the, um, the last ones more. And maybe zero them out here. Maybe even have them go a little bit further than, than the normal pose. So we're getting a bit of a, a overshoot and settle kind of thing. And now I'm going to look at it from the, from the front. And maybe drag those. There's a little bit more there. They feel like they're a little bit stiff there. So just in that axis, in that axis.
So yeah, I'm liking that. And in this case, I don't feel like it's too big. I feel like I've been a little bit more subtle this time. Let's see what it feels like, dialing it back a bit. No, now it feels too subtle compared to the other side, so... Yeah, I think I'll go with this at pretty much full strength. That's the other thing as well. Once you've got one done, you've got something to kind of compare at. You've got kind of a model to look at. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to bake it. So I'm not using the physics tool, the uh, Dynamics, to do the work for me. As such, I'm kind of using it as a helper, as a tool that just helps me get there a little bit quicker. Like if you're working in games, you might often have a physics simulation working on the ears or the, or the tail of the character. So you, know, you, you mightn't even animate them. You might just put a pose in and then leave the physics to the rest. But I think this is a nice compromise between the two where you've got, you know, sort of art-directed physics you're you're still making decisions and choices but you're letting the tool kind of give you something a nice base to start off with so i hope that was interesting i'm gonna leave it there and i'm gonna go and put the arms back on this poor fox and get those blocked out too cheers <laughs>